guys, it's Crafty K Bug, and today I'll be showing you how to make the double bead ladder bracelet. This is what it looks like, and it is really simple to make. All you'll be needing is a rainbow limb, a C clip, your hook, um, you'll be needing 27 of your outside color. Today I'm using glow in the dark white. You'll be needing 12 of your color that's going to go in the middle. So, like this stripe right here in, in between the beads. The border is like these. That's the middle. So you'll be needing 27 of those, 12 of these. For this, I'm using the um, electric blue glow. And then you'll be needing for the rubber bands, they're white in this bracelet that kind of connect the beads like that. You'll be needing 10 of those. And you'll also be needing 20 pony beads. So I have them here. And you're needing some extension bands. I'm just using 10 of those. I did not use extensions for either of these because I used two limbs. But these are the band counts and everything for one limb. Also, I thought I'd show you the pony beads I'm using. I'm using these. These are glow in the dark pony beads, and they are made by the Horizon Group. And they're glow in the dark, and I got them from Walmart. So, as you can probably see, all of my supplies here are glow in the dark. And so, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to be putting my things to the side. Except for my bands and pony beads. So I'm going to show you how you can string them on. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take this and you're going to put two beads on your hook. If they don't fit on your rainbow hook, you might want to use a smaller crochet hook or just use your fingers. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So you're going to take your band you're going to stick it on like that, and you're just going to pull it through, pull the, both beads through. I should have put a different color. Oops. And so you're just going to slide the beads on the band, like that. And there's your one, and you're going to make ten of those. So now I'm going to do the same thing with my orange beads. So I'm going to string on two of them. Then take this, and you take another band, and you're just going to pull them through using the same color beads and you don't even have to use different color beads you can use the same color going all the way up I did that in the rainbow bracelet so I'm going to stick on two beads and then thread them onto a band so these are called the dark white bands as I said before and so now I want to show you how to do it with your fingers it's going to be a little bit more tricky um, it's not as tricky if you're doing a single and you just have the one bead you have to thread it onto, but with your hands, you're going to take your beads and a band, you're going to pinch the band, and you're going to feed it through the bead, and then you're going to pinch the band again, feed it through the other bead, and then you have that one. So I'm going to do the rest of them, and then we can begin making the bracelet. I did six things of beads here so um, that's enough for the explanation and then I can do the rest um, in fast forward in motion so now we're gonna lay the border and what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay it from the center peg to the left peg and you're gonna go all the way up the left side with overlapping singles so if you stopped that peg you're gonna start that peg and you're just gonna go up all the way like this And this was the 27 count bands, and I'm using Glow White. Once you reach the next to last pin at the top, just go into the center like that. Now go back to the beginning of your loom, and you're going to go from the middle to the right, and then do the same thing to the right side. So just go all the way up. Now you're going to go into the center, just like you did before, at the second to last peg. And now push all of these bands down. And then you can go back to the beginning. You should have one of those border bands left over. And we're going to now be taking our middle color, and we're just going to go 
straight up the center. So be careful not to twist them, especially if you're using the, these bands twist really easily. I'm going to try not to worry about it for tutorial purposes. And now with your last border band, you're just going to create a capping band. So you're going to stick it on the peg, twist it to make that little H shape, then you're going to put it back on. Okay, there we go. So there's your capping band. And now we're going to lay the other band so we just push these down really quickly. And now you're going to lay these bands. So you're going to take your first one. And you're going to skip your first two pegs and go to the next two pegs. And you're just going to stick them on like that. And you're going to separate each of the beads like that. Now you're going to go to orange and do the same thing. So you're going to do orange and then separate your beads or whatever color you're using. And then you're going to do the same thing. And you're just doing this all the way up. And you should have ten things here. And you're just going to do them all the way up. Ten pairs of beads is what I was trying to say. And like that. And I'm just going to do the rest fast forwarded and do the beads as I go. Alright, so once you go up to the end here, you're not going to do the last two pegs, and you're going to skip those just like you did at the front. So you should have something that looks like this. Now you can turn your loom around, and we will begin the looping process. So we're going to begin by looping up the center row here, and you're just going to go inside through your capping band. Grab a, your... Um, for me it's electric blue band and hook it forward then you're going to go in here grab it and we're going to take it off the peg and put it on the peg in front of it take it off the peg put it on the peg in front of it you're just looping these forward so once you get here make sure you're pushing back this right here so it doesn't get in your way because you don't want to go down through here and do it it's going to mess up your bracelet so just uh oh So you're just going to do that all the way up. Okay. So once you get something that looks like that, you're going to go back to the beginning and you're going to hook up your border bands. So you're going to go in, you're going to push back your capping band, grab the top band, hook it to the left. Go into the capping band, grab the last band, and hook it to the right. And then you're going to hook up each one of the sides. So you're going to take the band out and put it to the peg in front of it. Now you have this band in here. Let me show you. Oops, sorry. You're going to take it, so you're going to go in and grab it. Go in. And you see this band right here, you're going to push it back. Sorry. It's hard to do it without getting my hand in the way. You're going to push, push it back like that. You're going to grab the band below it. And then you're going to hook it forward. So once again, push back that top band. Go underneath. And you should see a band below it. Grab it and hook it forward. And if you see this little teardrop shape right here, that means you did it correctly. And you're just going to do this all the way up. So go push it back. Go forward, push it back. Go forward, push it back. Go forward. And you're doing this all the way up. I'm just going to do it quickly. And then once you get to the end here, you're just grabbing that band and hooking it into the center. Like so. 
I go back to the beginning. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. So you're going to push back these bands. Now at the beginning you have two bands. And then you're going to grab this band and loop it forward. And then from here on out you have that one band. And you're just going to push it back and loop it forward. Let me zoom in a little bit. That might be slightly easier. There we go. So you're pushing it back, pulling it forward. Pushing it back, pulling it forward. And then at the end, you just grab the band, hook it into the center. So that's basically how you do everything. And now everything should be locked in place. So you can go ahead and take an extension band, stick your hook down through here, and stick it out the side, and grab the band, and pull it up through it so you're putting the hook part inside the peg and pulling it up. So let me do that one more time because that can be confusing for new loomers. You're just going to stick the open part of your hook and by open I mean not this part, not the back of it, this part right here where you can stick something in there. You're going to put that part up and against the peg so it'll be like that when it goes in. See how it's there and you push it down till you feel, hear it hit the bottom and you can see it too. And then you're just going to jut it out the side. So you're pushing it out the side. And now your hook is here. You're going to grab and you're going to put it on the band. Now you're going to hold it with the first finger and your thumb. And then your hook on your other hand. And so now you're going to pull it up. And again, you're going to put the open part of the hook inside the peg. Until you feel it hit the back part of the peg. And then you just pull it up until it comes out. And you're still holding on here. And then you're going to slide that down your hook and then loop on that other piece and then you can let go and there you go and then you can go ahead and do half your extension now or you can wait I'm gonna wait I'm gonna show you how to do the extension on the loom because I don't do that very often and just pull it off all you have to do is pull up and it just comes right off so that's really simple and easy so this is what my bracelet looks like and it's all glow in the dark which is super cool so I'm going to show you how to do the extension on the loom. So you can just keep this on the hook and set it to the side. I'll stick it right there so you guys can still see it. And I'm just going to take four of these and just go up one side. You can go up the center or the right side. It does not matter. And you're just going to lay those overlapping singles that we did before. So you're just going to do four of those. So once you have four, then you're going to turn it around. So you're just turning it around like so. Now the arrows are facing towards you. Make sure at the beginning your arrows are always facing away from you. And then it to the next peg, like that. So it's really simple. Now let me zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see. And now you're just going to loop it forward. So you're, and there's nothing here to loop, so you're going to go to your next one. And you're going to grab this band, and you're just going to pull it forward. Do the same thing all the way up. Until you run out of bands to loop. Then you're going to take this band right here. You're going to pull it to this peg. That's what I like to do. You don't have to do that. But then you're going to attach your C-clip. So the open part of your C-clip just goes right in. So you just push it down on the bands. Make sure both of those loops get in there. So you're not doing these loops or anything. You're just doing, there's two little strips of band right here. And you're making sure both of those get in there. And then you're going to pull it off. So you have something like that. And then you're going to do the same thing for the other side. So you're just going to go forward on whichever side. I don't know why I'm doing it on the other side. I just am. I'm using five bands for this side because I already had used one band on the other side. But on the other side of your bracelet you have what's that cat band that you made. So see how these are going into the center? And then right here you have this little band sticking out. That's your cat band. You're just going to pull that out. It should look something like this. If it doesn't look like that it means you grabbed the wrong band. So now you're going to turn it around and you're going to stick that on it on that peg and I like to pull it to the next one that gives you a little bit more room to work so we pull the bracelet to the side so you can see and then you're just gonna skip this peg go to this peg pull it up and pull it forward and do that all the way up like that 
and then you can kind of take it off a little ways. Don't take it off the last peg. If you do, grab it, put it back on. And then you're going to stretch it to that top pin like you did before. And without twisting your bracelet, make sure it's not twisted. You're just going to pull it straight forward. And you're going to hook on your C-clip just as you did before. Same thing, make sure you get these two bands and nothing else. And just take it off. And there's your double bead lighter bracelet. I think it looks really cool and is a really cool bracelet to wear. So, I know I like this bracelet. And if you did, make sure to, get, to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Plus, follow my Instagram. It's crafty underscore kbug. And subscribe here on YouTube so you can insert your name after crafty. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. On to the first of the video.